It's been really hot here in New York. You know where else it's been really hot? Everywhere else in the world, because the Earth is dying. But also Japan. It's been so hot that Nintendo decided to release a statement to its Japanese customers. If you use the Nintendo Switch in a hot place, the temperature of the main unit may become high. Please use in conditions between five and 35 degrees Celsius. If the temperature of the main unit becomes too high, it may sleep automatically to protect the main unit. But what exactly is that cutoff temp? How hot can the Switch get before it decides to turn itself off? Now the easiest thing to do would just be to Ask Nintendo. So I decided to buy a brand new Switch and I'm gonna stick it in this air fryer. This should go without saying, but don't try this at home. There's actual risk of physical harm here. I did this so that you wouldn't have to. Also, so you wouldn't have to worry about playing your Switch in the hot sun. Before you get too crazy, I don't actually intend on ruining this perfectly good Switch. I don't think it'd be very interesting either to see the plastic melt off of this thing ruining a perfectly good convection oven too. I actually think it might be a little bit sad to see that. The goal here is just to see at what temperature this thing will turn itself off. That being said, I still bought a new switch in the event that it might happen to kill the switch because I, I can't trust any of my own switches to, to do this dirty work. I'm not gonna put the Joy-Con on because I wanna salvage as much of this as possible in case something does go wrong. Should this Switch survive, I intend on giving it away to one of you people. A uh, link to that will be in the description. It'll be a link to my Twitter and the giveaway will be on my Twitter, on either one of my Twitters. All right, we're all set up. We're gonna need a game for this just so that it could stay on. Uh, I decided to use the worst game that I own. Uh, that, whoa, forgot I have the Pokemon Snap printer and I took a bunch of pictures and printed them out. Here's a picture of my dog. <laughs> Okay, now I think we're ready to start here. I put some tin foil down in the event that this thing uh, does happen to leak. I think this thermometer, I'm not sure if it's rated for something like this, but uh, I'm sure it'll just be fine. I'm just gonna, just gonna hook it right there. So we'll be able to see exactly what temperature it's running at at all times. So I think I wanna keep this at like around 100. So I'm gonna try to do that. And hopefully it doesn't take that long. We'll put it on, we'll put it on the air fry setting. All right, good luck. While this thing cooks, I figure this would be a good time to let you know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Oh, we're doing a Skillshare ad? No! Okay, I'm sorry. Go away! Skillshare has the tools you need for the skills you need. You can even learn how to do videos with yourself with William Buckley's class, Making Essentials in Premiere Pro. They have everything from animation, design, photo, film, writing, and so much more. The first 1,000 of you who join me over on Skillshare will get a 30-day free trial, so you can try it for yourself at the link in the description below. Did you guys know that MKBHD has a class on Skillshare? I wanna be like him. Anyway, let's see how this, uh, Switch is cooking in here. I'm sure that you guys know that electronics have very specific operating temperatures. Getting too hot will impact performance dramatically. It's why cooling and thermals have become such a big part of PC building. I'm sure that everybody knows someone who's spent like a grand just on getting liquid cooling on their PC. It's why your fans spin up every time you wanna play Minecraft. The harder the silicon inside of your device works, the hotter it'll get, and the hotter that it gets, the worse it'll perform. That's why you're gonna wanna keep those thermals down as much as possible. But the Nintendo Switch isn't just a computer, it also has a battery in it, which is potentially worse to have in a hot environment. Batteries can get very hot, and they can even pop and explode in extreme circumstances. Are you getting nervous right now <laughs> that this thing's cooking? It also has a screen. Surprisingly, OLED screens can handle heat a little better than LCD screens, with an operating temperature between negative 40 degrees Celsius and plus 85 degrees Celsius, as opposed to the negative 20 degrees Celsius and plus 70 degrees Celsius that LCD screens have. Here's the conversions for us Americans. I'm doing this test with the OLED model, which should be able to physically handle the heat better than any of the other Switch models, but I suspect that that cutoff switch, whatever it is, 
is probably the same temperature across all of the Switch models. I also think that they fixed some of the thermals with the all-LED one, so this is probably the most extreme test we can do. And now we just wait until this thing uh, cooks up all the way, and we're gonna turn it up a little bit. I think this will be about a uh, hundred. You know, let's move it up to friggin' like 150. <laughs> Screw it. They say don't operate it over 95 degrees. Right now we're at 93-ish. Where's the fire extinguisher? Okay, it's right here. <laughs> I'm most concerned about the battery. The battery is not supposed to be this hot. Imagine playing this in like the Phoenix sun, you know? It's gonna get to 110 degrees. Okay, so that is just the screen dimming. That's, that doesn't count. We're waiting for it to completely go to sleep. If it starts smoking, I am turning this off because I don't want the battery to explode. 120 is like the max we're gonna have in like a real world situation. I'm getting a little nervous. Because it is, this is actually a little dangerous. <laughs> at 130 now. We're approaching 140. At 140, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like we're good. I don't, I mean, I gotta, I gotta keep going with science. But I also don't wanna be this close to it. I'm gonna move. <laughs> it's been going for five minutes and 30 seconds. How high does the temperature get of the actual unit if you're playing it like it? All right, the actual CPU is probably really hot right now. It's probably way hotter than that. But I mean, if you're playing in a real world circumstance. Well. Oh, this is way hotter than it's ever gonna get in the real world. We're at 160, which is way, I think I want to call it. I'm turning this off. Because the battery is too, the battery is going to explode at 160 degrees. I'm going to let it cool naturally in there and ramp down and we'll see if it still turns off because it might turn off after being in this temperature for a long time. I don't like calling the experiment early, but it's becoming a safety issue. It could legitimately explode. I'm honestly shocked that it that it lasted that long. I thought like 120 tops, it, it would turn itself off. Oh, oh, it happened, it happened. It went off? It's still at 100, oh, it went off. Damn, I hope that that caught it. It was 150 for about eight minutes. It said the temperature was too high and then it turned off. There was a little temperature warning. We Success. found it. Success. Success. All right, now film this, because I'm going to open it. It might. Right. Oh, we're good. OK. <laughs> Order up. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. It kind of feels like it's been out in the sun. It looks like the plastic's fine. Maybe, hopefully the game's fine. <laughs> there it is, it's on again. Ooh, the fans are going. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I closed, I closed the game. This is that. Those fans are kicking off. Oh, there's so much heat coming out of that too. Why am I surprised that the unit is hot? I'm comfortable saying somewhere between 120 and 150 for less than five minutes will uh, cause it to turn itself off. Uh, I don't know how much that will save it. It seems to be doing a great job of kicking the heat out of there. It's still, it's still going. But no, this is definitely salvageable. So you're, one of you guys is gonna get a slightly used <laughs> Nintendo Switch OLED. So check the link for that in the description. But hold on, I wanna try one more thing. So it's about 92 degrees out today. I'm on the roof playing Smash, trying to give this thing as much heat as possible. This is my everyday switch. I, I decided it's probably gonna be fine. I taped the thermometer up to the top where the exhaust port is. I tried to take special care not to tape off the exhaust port. I decided to do this in addition to the oven test because the problem with the oven test is we just ramped it up to the max and it would probably shut off quicker than that max temp if you leave it playing long enough in a lower temperature. I suspect 92 degrees isn't gonna be a big deal. I think this will handle it just fine. But if you're in like 120 degree weather for some reason, hell on earth, playing at that temperature for like 20, 30 minutes might actually turn the switch off. 
but I think it's safe to say you won't risk damaging the switch. It turning itself off will prevent it from causing any damage. Also, don't worry about this guy for right now. There'll be a video on that eventually. All right, so I've been up here for about an hour now and I'm sweating. And uh, this temperature hasn't budged. It's been about 91, 92 this whole time. So that leads me to believe that it's not taking the temperature of the internals, it's taking the temperature of the environment, which is fine, I guess. But the switch, is just fine. It's not even that hot on the back. I also suspected maybe the fan would be working harder. It's not blowing air out like it was when it was in the oven. I also suspected that the battery would be draining faster and it's honestly not. 75 after an hour. So I think it's safe to say in a real world environment, don't worry about playing your switch in the heat. It'll turn itself off if anything becomes a problem and I don't think you'll melt it. I don't see any battery bulbs. I, th I think I think this will be perfectly fine for somebody. Anyway, we got new videos here all the time. We uh, have Twitch stream over on twitch.tv slash Wolfden where we do similarly dumb stuff live. But of course, the most important thing that you could do to help support this channel is just subscribe right here and share this video with a friend. A friend that maybe lives in a hot area and is maybe afraid of using their switch outside. Also, if they're worried about OLED burning, I got a video on that too. Thank you guys for being here during this wacky and weird experiment. Have yourselves a very good week. It stopped, it stopped, uh, stopped doing it. It's cool now. It's cool to the touch now. It's still a little warm, but it's good. <laughs>